Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Boneworks. We're, uh, well, I, I can't quite accurately describe what we've just been doing. That place looks awesome, actually. And there is a reclamation bin there, so that means we'll try to get as much stuff as possible into the reclamation bin to do whatever. I have no idea what. I think it gives you stuff in the, uh, um, sandbox mode, as I said before to play around with. Hello. 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 Hey. What is that guy doing? His eyes in a really weird position. Yeah. All right, so let's go around and say hello. Oh, he's happy. Come on. <laughs> I love that sound. Shing. Very satisfying. Oh, come on. They heard that, I think. There's that red pipe again. Contact lost. What? Oh, that's some cool lighting there. Contact lost. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, oh. Come on. Come on. Just get up. Get up. What? There you go. How do we get in? Through the pipe? Um, huh. No, that's obviously not destructible. No. Huh. So there's no doors here. Oh, I didn't even see that pole there that you can use to climb over. But how do you get in there? Let's see. Because there is another area there. Oh, that's the door. Um, okay, but it's on the other side. Melon time! I wonder what the whole design decision making was when making these levels. Because, you know, they're like, a lot of the times, like a mishmash of everything. So was it just like, let's make this puzzle and then make the level around it? Or what? Well, it said stay in the light, but I'm not doing so right now. <coughs> okay, it's a crate. I suppose I can take that with me. Okay, check this out. <coughs> One-handed, huh? <coughs> oh, damn. Almost had it. Come on. I know I'm gonna hit myself doing this or something. No! So close. So close. Come on. Oh, that's supposed to be horrible to watch. I do apologize. Actually, let's just do it like this. I know that was not required, but I really wanted to take the shortcut, which in the end wasn't a shortcut because I spent so much time climbing this. And now even with two hands, apparently I can't climb it. Come on. Because remember, my uh, inventory is kind of full. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't much of a shortcut, was it? Oh, wait. There's the entrance. I'm being silly. So let's just leave this right next to the axe. I mean, you, you can also open this, right? Oh, there. Okay, I see. You also open up the way there, so we'll, we'll have to go around anyway. Just stay there. there. Yeah. 
Okay, now let's take the axe and let's take this for the sandbox. You stay there. Come on! Come on, you little shits. Come on. Come on! Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? You want some too? Come on. Come and get it. Yeah, you want to turn your eye red? Come on. Sup? They got little batteries on their legs. Oops. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. What are you gonna do now? There's a cleaver here. Nothing I'm really interested in. Uh, Alright, so let's take this. I can also take the Uzi to put it into the reclamation thingy. Oh. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh. Stop. Warning. Uh-oh. Yeah, this axe is amazing. I don't like the sound of that, though. Okay. Man, I miss my scope. I miss my scope. That is so cool. Maybe I should do it like this. I've uh, I've noticed on the video it looks really weird because you only see the right eye. Uh, so sometimes it looks like I'm actually aiming at an angle. There's another one there. Oh, are they respawning? Come on. Shoot. Oh, there's more stuff here. I wonder if I could shoot them through this. Probably not. Oops. Ow! Oh, oh frickin' hell! Jeez. They are respawning somewhere, or maybe there were just more of them there that I didn't see. Yeah! Oh! What happened?
Come on. No! Come on. Really? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, there is a bot. I thought there was someone, like a bot shooting me. I was confused. What? Well, that was his stuff. What the hell? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, so. Got a reclamation thingy here. Okay. Let's put an axe in there. So let's just see what's here. Oh, yeah. I like that. Alright, well, uh, what else do we have? Got a battery. Oh, what? That doesn't work? Really? No. That does not work. Can I reclamate myself? <laughs> so let's get the rest of the stuff now that I brought. That Uzi. This is my axe in a way, I suppose now. Well, everything's mine. Okay, where's that little... That little thingy, there it is. Jeez. Power! Reclaim! Stay in the light, it says, but... Yeah. Uh-oh, what? They're here again? Oh, freaking hell. And they're shooting me through this. No, where did it go? Ah, oh, freaking hell. Where did the little ball go? Oh, come on. I know it's just a container, but... <laughs> right. I have no idea where it went. I don't... oops. I don't have it in the inventory. Nope. Well, that sucks. It's not here. It's not there. Great. Thanks for that. Just to have one extra guy there. Ah, fine. Okay, did we say anything else? I would like to save this gun. Actually, we have to save everything because... Uh, it's that field. Oh man, I like this weapon. Oops, okay. Come on. Man. And the axe, which we already got, but okay, fine. So I don't really understand why we were able to buy a battery at the beginning of the game. What was the point? Because the game... Well, as you could see, there were plenty of batteries around, and buying that was not just not necessary, it was completely pointless. Because, um, you know, I thought that if we were to do that and hoard batteries, there would be a case where you'd need many batteries, and it would reward you for it somehow, but no. So that was basically just a beginner's trap. Don't buy batteries. Yeah, I have no idea where that little ball went. Oh, there it is. Look. It's hiding. You little sneaky thing. There is no way I can... Well, maybe I can, actually. Come on. Hey, you are. Why were you hiding there, you little thing? It's a container in a ball. Alright, let's put that there. And then move forward. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so. Okay, that's cool. Let's get going. It's gonna be another loading screen. Alright, 
Are we ready to rumble? Oh, you can actually control it? That's cool. So let's see, wait, wait, wait. Let's see the inventory. As I go through, the axe should disappear. Yep, and the batteries as well. Power! Power! Man, this, this, this feels really cool. Especially because I have a fan directed towards me. So I know that <laughs> I'm in like a tram or something. And I shouldn't really feel the wind because of the, the, the glass. But yeah, it kind of it kind of adds to the whole feeling. It's really cool. Moonworks. I have to be honest, this game surprised me. At the beginning, when I started playing it, it was like, eh, it's, it's all right. It's a little fidgety and, you know, I, I'm not a fan of the... Uh, environment so much because they're not as detailed as something like half-life alex for example but it's a lot of fun now the more i play it the more the cooler it is because of all the physical stuff you can do i'm still not exactly a fan of the environments because they're so sometimes not exactly abstract this looks more like it though if everything was like this that would be nice i know it's supposed to be like some kind of weird vr world but so what I'm also thinking is I have to be careful with what I buy oh, uh, at the shop here because they give you quite a lot of weapons quite early on so I could be just wasting money. What is this for here? Oh, that opened something. Oh, it opened these doors, I see. Myth OS station, tower direct line, tower station. Okay. Warning, please notify authority of any suspicious geometry or incinerate at own risk. So I guess... Are we at the tower station now? It doesn't say. Inoperable geometry, bits only, no credits. Station. Does it say anywhere? No. It doesn't. Oh, there's a lot of ammo there. If I could get to it. Oh, and one of those blue guys. Hello. Oh yeah, I don't have any weapons. Come on. Why does it... Oh, there's a hammer in there? Oh. There we go. There is. This is how you use a hammer. <laughs> okay. So that'd be nice. That's only a hundred. It seems like, yeah, the prices fluctuate greatly. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna buy another rifle. Because they are very useful. Unfortunately, no scope, no laser, no nothing. And, uh, would be nice to get an axe, but maybe I'll just save my money for now. Maybe one of these, because the hammer is really not going to cut it. Uh, yeah. Ah, I kind of wanted to catch it as it's uh, uh, flying out, but no. Oh, wow. What is... Oh, it's like raining? But it's raining something weird. That's really cool. Wait. I can't get over there? How do I get to that guy? Oh, I woke him up. Hmm. Maybe from the other side somehow? Oh, you can open this. Oh, there's a crowbar in there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's a way. I don't think you can smash this. That's a shame. Oh well. Let's keep going. 
Okay, that's cool. Myth transit. Yeah, what is all that blue stuff in the air? I don't know, but it looks awesome. Uh-oh. Ranged guy. Those guys are actually pretty dangerous. I need a key for that. I don't want to wake him up, because just in case he can actually fire through that. It's gonna make my life miserable. Yeah, this is definitely not as powerful as the big axe. Or the fire axe, or whatever it is. But it's still nice. So I guess this is where we come back there where I wanted to go in the first place. Okay. There's another one. Um, that's an interesting position. <clears throat> oh man, that felt painful. <laughs> These guys are actually looking towards me, or forward. Because before they just had their heads down. Oh, you're still not done, huh? Jeez. And we can open that here. How rude of them not to open the, the doors for me. No, come back. What? Physics is going crazy. Yeah, wow. This is a lot less powerful than the big axe. Makes sense, but wow. Coffee cup. Ceramic tiling. Trays. Great thing. Oh, great tiling. I thought it said great thing. Neon light. Oh, yeah, there it is. I suppose I can also open this. No point, but there you go. I need to find the key first. Hello! Yeah, let's see how this goes with just the axe. Oh. Yeah, it goes okay. Well, yeah. Hmm. Kind of missing my axe now. <laughs> Hello. Come on. What am at? Object dispensing system. Why would you show just guns and spiked bats and stuff like that? I mean... Is that really the perfect world you want to live in? <laughs> Oops. It's like an apocalypse. Do not block. S stand... Stand pipe? What? Danger. Do not enter. Well, I can enter. There's a force field, so... There you go. Joke's on you. Offices. What do we have here? Hello? Oh, nothing. Just the offices and probably a key somewhere. All week the trains have been trucking in those stupid barrels. Oh, in those stupid barrels with a rabbit face painted on it. There is no way those are actually Monogon property or sponsored by Ultra Immersion. Hey, as long as she keeps. Oh, look at this. I moved my thumb away to actually read it. Hey, as long as she keeps paying us, I'm just going to keep my head down. Paper. Okay. Nothing there. Excellent. Oh! There's chips. Focus crisps. Spice intensity. Man, I want some chips. Nothing there. No key, huh? No key. Numbers. Okay. 
There you go. Take your numbers. Ah. What? No enemies are gonna spawn? I've just taken the key game. Fantasy land. I wanna go there. Oh, look at that. Man, full immersion VR. I want to still live when that's developed. But then if I do... That guy moved. He might have heard some fighting. Oh, that's cool. Okay. This is kind of creepy. But anyway, we're going to end it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. A big thank you to my Patreons. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.